page number 525 the book of yoga canto 5 the finding of the soul if you don't feel like opening the book that is also fine towards the middle of the page she knew herself the beloved of the supreme she knew herself the beloved of the supreme the mother was she of beauty and delight she knew herself the beloved of the supreme the sweet little mother sitting in our hearts is nobody but the beloved of the supreme himself awakening to the sweet beauty and delight of the sweet little mother sitting in our heart the beloved of the supreme our souls too like meera to krishna like radha to krishna are the beloved of the supreme often times we forget how deeply how deeply does the divine love us often times we forget the eyes of love the eyes of love and beauty and delight the loving attention and awareness through which the divine looks at us somewhere we do not believe somewhere we do not believe that there is a part of us which is in the image of the divine a part of us which is made of the divine a part of us which is the divine we see our ego and chase our ego but that's a mistake to be made on the path supreme the path supreme is the path of the supreme the ego must abolish the ego must die but for it to dissolve and die i have got to stop being the ego i have to open and realize to the deeper truth of who i am and i am the beloved of the supreme i am the sweet little mother sitting in my heart we are so happy together we shall never part difficulties may come challenges may come i may get tired of myself and the world but i never lose even for a moment the sparkle in my eye that comes from the radiating light of the golden white flame and the hidden sweet little mother sitting in my heart at the center of the flame radiating beauty and delight she knows herself as the beloved of the supreme she fears none and none fears her but only the hostile and the forces that take us away from the divine basking in that beauty basking in that delight we have a sweet little mother sitting in our hearts who knows herself as the beloved of the supreme she is the mother of beauty and delight
about the size of the thumb is the concealed divinity seated in our hearts. She feels herself one with all she saw. She feels one. She feels herself made one with all she saw. A sealed identity within her woke. Often times, we think the divine is sitting high up there or somewhere hidden deep within our hearts. We forget that the divine is coming, coming to us not just from within, but through all circumstances, all people, everybody around us. The sweet little mother is sitting in my heart and she is molding me, shaping me, making me progress from within. But the same sweet little mother is also sitting in the white golden flame in front of me and in the white golden flame in which I am sitting and the entire world and its people and its rivers and its mountains and its entire landscape and earth and the universe exists. The sweet little mother approaches me from within. The sweet little mother approaches me from outside. Her hand of progress is leading me closer and closer to her. Every person that I meet on the path, even some of the most disturbing individuals who hurt us, who damage us, who throw a bullet at us, even behind it is a divine lesson that is trying to enter us, that is trying to shape us, that is trying to make us grow and evolve and progress. And progress towards what? Progress towards the sweet little mother that has created the world, that is creating the world, that is shaping the world, in the image of the Supreme. Because we are the children of the Supreme, we are in our deepest essence. The Supreme that is trying to manifest through our body, feeling, senses and aspirations and ambitions on earth. Till a day comes, not a thought is not divine. Not a feeling that is not divine. Not an inner movement, an outer movement that is not divine. Not a single work that is not divine. Not a single expression that is not divine. Not a single politics that is not divine. Not a single business that is not divine. She felt herself made one with all she saw. It is through this part of our being, through our psychic, through our souls, we may be sitting in different parts of India and the world, but we feel one with each other and with all that we see. The beauty that we see on earth, the non-beauty that we see on earth, never forgetting that the non-beauty exists because somewhere deep within beauty, somewhere deep within non-beauty lies the beauty. The opposite can exist only if the thing exists hidden somewhere within it.
and thus we can see ourselves one with everything that we see. Everything that hurts us, that triggers us is nothing but a mirror of our own shadow, of something inside of us that is wanting to transform. And to see oneself as one with all is necessarily to tune into the divine presence that exists in all and all exists in that. In the infinite, eternal, wide vastness of the divine presence. A sealed identity, a sealed identity, it's like behind, behind the waves that we experience in our heart. There is a sealed identity, a secret identity, an eternal identity which is traveling from this lifetime to another with one singular aim to express itself as true, good and beautiful in all of life as Satyam Shivam Sundaram. And the more we tune into it, the more its power, its force awakens. Sometimes we think of ourselves as powerless, helpless, little victims of life. But that's not who we are. We are courageous than we think. We are more capable than we think we are. We are more loving than what our outer nature is capable of. We are more wiser even as the outer surface nature at times may be confused and full of doubt. But this remains hidden to us. It's a sealed identity. And it's not a will, the psychic will is not a will that will insist like the vital will. But if you approach the divine with purity and aspiration and sincerity and gratitude and love and surrender, it will begin to open itself to you. The Divine will not push you, but if you open to the Divine, then the Divinity is ever present. It is always there. And it is just waiting and waiting and waiting for you to open the temple of your heart and welcome Welcome, the golden bride of your soul. And this sealed identity within her woke, the sealed identity within ourselves awake with a feeling of love, with a feeling of delight, with a feeling of self-giving, and self-giving is the master spirit of Kali Yuga. Self-giving is that key to open the seal to the sealed identity of our souls. The more we sacrifice, we give and offer ourselves, offer our feelings, offer our thoughts, offer our struggles, offer our egos, its demands, needs, aims, offer our money, offer our work, offer ourselves, our ways of being, offer our vanity, offer our pride, offer our arrogance, offer our feeling that we know it all. 
offer our self doubts offer our smallness the more we shall open ourselves to the hand of the mother that is molding us and making us progress that is taking us closer and closer and closer and closer to the divine presence to the divine possibility that rests inside each one of us all we have to do is to take one decisive receptive step in the direction of the divine and she the mother divine will make us take the remaining 99 steps but the one step the step of aspiration of a sincere aspiration of a burning aspiration an aspiration that embodies no matter what an aspiration that is born out of love and dissolves into love that aspiration has to be ours because it is that aspiration that will make us receptive receptive to receiving her force receptive to her entering inside of us and working through us working within us and organizing inside of us and integrating us she is the invisible force she is the invisible hand she is the invisible all powerful power she is the beloved of the supreme she is the power of the supreme without her he is unmanifest without him she exists not She is the mother supreme the creatrix the creatrix the eternal artist right she knows herself the beloved of the supreme she is the mother of beauty and delight